So you know how much my family loves our dog, Poppy, but sometimes I look at him and I wonder, what's he thinking? <laughs> Steven Jackson joins us this morning with a story that might help me figure that out. Listen, Steven, I do a lot of talking for Poppy in my house. <laughs> Amanda, um, this is a little scary. I know we come with reasons to smile, but yeah. this one, maybe it'll make you smile, but maybe you don't want to know this. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever wondered what your pup is really saying uh, with that bark, a high-tech dog collar is giving canines a new voice, analyzing those barks so owners know how their pet is feeling. Here's a story that'll give you a reason to smile. No. Six-year-old Gatto is happy playing with her owner. <coughs> or is she? This smart caller is giving the Border Collie a new voice to tell people how she feels. With this device, we humans can understand and communicate better more accurately, more effectively. The AI-powered collar compares a dog's bark to a database of more than 10,000 samples from 50 breeds of canines, big and small. <laughs> Moon Sei Mi says the device revealed Gatto gets angry when she loses a game, but feels safe at home even when she's alone. When dog barks, uh, that signifies there's uh, some need for dog. South Korean company Pet Pulse says its algorithm can determine a dog's five emotional states, happy, relaxed, anxious, angry, or sad. The more barking data they get, the more accurate the results. U.S. company Aqualon developed similar technology to translate a cat's meow. Meow Talk is an app that helps owners better understand their feline friends. Creators of these devices say listening to our pets is especially relevant during the pandemic when many people are choosing to adopt pets to have some company at home. But unfortunately, some of them abandoned their dog due to miscommunications. Pet Pulse marketing director Andrew Gill says the smart collar is crucial to help dog owners understand their pet's emotions and what triggers them. <laughs> Something puppy dog eyes can't always reveal. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. Now, if you want that smart collar, it sells for 99 bucks, but there's some bad news for dogs who prefer an easy life. It also has an activity tracker oh. to work out how many uh, calories they <laughs> burn. So again, this is interesting because maybe, you know, Poppy's barking and then you you get that on your, your phone and, and it says, at hey, I don't want to be bothered. I'm mad at you, Mom. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty scary. I don't know yeah. if you want to know. You know what, though? Like, our dog bark, he, he's, we call him Bob Barker, actually. Like, he <laughs> barks, like, all the time. So anytime somebody comes to the door, um, but he's wagging his tail all the time. So we're like, we think he's okay. Like, we think he's happy, but maybe he's not. Maybe See, he's that bad. collar might make you find out something yeah. else. Maybe the whole thing, dogs are having a good time because they're wagging their tail. We might find out. That's totally different. They're like, uh-uh. I want out. <laughs> I want out. I'm mad. Usually, you know, he'll he'll bark when he wants to play, too, and he'll look at you, and he'll bark, and he'll wag his tail, and then we're like, oh, okay, we'll get, a, we'll get a toy. Or I, get, I guess it'll make it easy, like, to, uh, uh, to train him to uh, yeah. go outside to do his business. You know what I mean? It could be helpful, but as you said, maybe we don't want to know. Maybe we don't want to Maybe we don't want to know. <laughs> we'll just pet them and treat them kindly and be good with it, right? Yep. Sounds All right. good. <laughs> Happy Friday, Stephen. Thank you. Have a good weekend, Amanda. You too.